What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start off with Tyler Anderson, who had five Ks in six innings, giving up four runs. He had these wicked change-ups, and he faced Mitch Keller, who had seven Ks in five innings, but gave up six runs. Despite giving up six runs, he did have this filth. I mean, look at this two-seamer change-up and sweeper. Brennan Bernardino had three Ks in one and two-thirds innings as the opener, and had this fastball and curveball, and he faced Cookie Carrasco, who was throwing a lot of cookies to hitters. He went two and a third innings with two Ks, but gave up 10 hits and five runs. He did have this split changeup. Aaron Nola had seven Ks in seven innings, giving up three runs, and had these filthy changeups and knuckle curves. He faced Zay Curry, who had three Ks in three innings, giving up only one hit and one run. Curry got Ks on these sliders. Luis Severino had five Ks in five and two-thirds innings, giving up three runs, and had these sliders and cutter for a sword, as well as these fastballs and K screens. Swing and a miss and I love when Sevy pitches with emotion. Jamison Tyone had six Ks in five and two thirds innings, giving up one run, and had this fastball for a sword, as well as this cutter and sweeper for a sword. Julio Tehran had five Ks in six innings, giving up one run, had these cutters and two seamer. He faced Bryce Elder, who had two Ks in six innings, and got one of those Ks on this slider. Taj Bradley had six Ks in five innings, giving up three runs, and had this fastball and slider. And he faced off against Tyler Wells, who had five Ks in four and a third innings, giving up one hit and three runs. Wells had this curveball, slider, and cutter. Alex Fiedo had two Ks in six innings, giving up only one hit and no runs, and had this nasty slider. He faced Joe Musgrove, who had six Ks in six innings, giving up three runs, but had these filthy curveballs. I mean, just look at the drop on these things. And you can really see that drop in this cutter and curveball overlay. You can see how if you think you were swinging at a cutter but got a curveball, you'd be hosed. Lucas Giolito had 9 Ks in 5 scoreless innings. It was really good. He featured these wicked change-ups, his fastballs, and nasty slider. And here's an overlay of Giolito's fastball and slider. And you can see this is as good a tunneling as you'll ever see. As a hitter, you think you're getting a fastball. And you can see just as you swing, that slider disappears. Giolito battled against Bailey Ober, who had 6 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 2 earned runs, and had this slider. Mackenzie Gore had 8 Ks in 5 innings, giving up no runs, and had these elevated fastballs and these vicious sliders. Alec Manoa had 6 Ks in 5 and a third innings, giving up 3 runs, and the big news from this game was it looked like Alec Manoa's slider is back. Look how disgusting a couple of these sliders are. Absolute filth. In fact, out of the 12 swings against his slider yesterday, he had 10 whiffs, an 83% whiff rate. And as you all might remember, Alec Manoa got his slider from me. Well, to be more accurate, from my Twitter page, which I always think is really cool. Manoa battled against Brian Wu, who had 7 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 4 runs, and had these fastballs and sliders. And of course, the inevitable Ric Flair appearance. <laughs> Luis Medina had six Ks in five innings, giving up one run on only two hits, and had this overpowering fastball, as well as these funky cold slides. Funky cold Medina. He faced Hunter Brown, who had this 97 mile an hour fastball on his way to four Ks in six innings, giving up two runs. My filthiest starting pitcher of the day yesterday was Jesus Lizardo. The Jesus Lizard had an amazing 13 Ks in seven innings, giving up only one run. Those 13 strikeouts were a new career high, and he got them on painted fastballs, six sliders, as well as these change-ups. A tour de force outing by Lizardo. And one thing Lizardo does that not a lot of pitchers do is he messes with timing. Most pitchers just mess with timing by throwing faster or slower pitches, but Lizardo changes his windup. And here's an overlay of Lizardo's quick pitch windup and his regular windup, and you can see how that could mess with a hitter. Now to my filthiest relievers, Brian Abreu had these wicked sliders. Mike Bauman had this dirty knuckle curve. Rysel Iglesias had these fastballs and changeup. Daisbel Hernandez had these fastballs. A really nice debut for Daisbel. Michael King had this sweeper, two seamer, and changeup. Yuck. Alex Lang had this dirty curveball. 
got to respect that turtleneck. Joe Kelly had this filth, 100-mile-an-hour fastballs with that movement, as well as messing with timing. Justin Lawrence had this painted two-seamer. Jordan Romano had this six slider. Josh Winkowski had this cutter and overpowering fastball. Dowry Moretta had this slider that went 17 inches the wrong way. Moretta's wrong way slider is one of the seven wonders of modern baseball pitching. Juan Duran had this 101 mile an hour fastball and this hammer curveball. Araldis Chapman had this absolutely amazing 103.4 mile an hour two seamer. Look at that incredible arm side movement at over 103 miles an hour. Absolutely ridiculous. But my filthiest appearance by a reliever yesterday was from Felix Bautista. Check out these splitters. Oh my freaking God. This splitter only had 546 RPMs at 89 miles an hour. Bautista's throwing flaming butterflies up there. That low spin rate helps with the drop and somewhat unpredictable movement of Bautista's splitters. Here are a couple of overlays of Bautista's splitter with his fastball, and you can really see how devastating a combination that fastball and splitter is. Bautista has an amazing 57.3% whiff rate on his splitter this year and has 96 strikeouts in only 49 innings and an ERA of 0.92 with an ERA plus of 457. And because you're subscribed to this channel, here is Felix Bautista's splitter grip from my interview with him. Well, it also helps to be six foot eight and have monster hands. With this one, he's saying throw fastball. Uh, what finger does it come off of? Yo lo agarro así. No, o sea, yo eh, solamente trato de, de tirarlo como, como una reta normal uh -huh. y cuando lo suelto, eh, él hace el movimiento. Ah, ok. Yeah, so this is how I hold it. I try to throw it just like a fastball, like a normal fastball. And then uh, when I release the ball, that's when you get the movement. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. I don't know if this is zen or not, but this attracted a lot of attention on Twitter yesterday. Meet James Boree, a pitcher who is 7 foot 2 inches tall. It's like Wemby firing baseballs. What is up, everybody? My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. First, I'm going to start out with a same-game parlay of Luis Castillo and Kenta Maeda, both for 7Ks or more. And then I'm going to top it off with you, Darvish, for 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 